and welcome to another Fast and Awesome. Today I'm going to show you how to build a sweet quad racing gate from stuff from your building supply store. Now, you can buy pop-up gates to make yourself a lot easier, or if you're into customizing and making cool stuff, you can make these PVC PEX gates, which have a five foot base, removable tops. Now you can build these gates so you can stick them in the ground, or if the ground's too hard, I have this fancy base here that will stick right in. So what's sweet about these gates is they're bouncy. You can move them all over the place. And the best part is, if you hit them too hard, they'll just fall right over. show you how to build one of these sweet pex gates. Now, all right, as you can see, our little racing quad here is pretty small. So you want to make sure this gate can bounce. So the stuff I found that I've had a lot of success with is this three quarter inch pex pipe. Now, if you don't know what pex pipe is, pex piping is like super fast plumbing. So you're going to want to buy a stick of this. You can get this at your uh, home improvement department store. And this one, I got at Lowe's and it came in a 20 foot section. So with these gates, now my gate's not gonna be a perfectly square five by five, but I'm just gonna do a round five inch, I mean five foot gate. Cut it to 13 feet or 13 foot two or 158 inches, whatever you want. But I guess your question is, what can I cut this stuff with? Well, here's a razor blade. Now, if you want to cut this with a razor blade, you're going to want to use a nice sharp one. As you can see, if you just roll it a little bit, you're able to get in there and then you'll just want to roll it around. See how easy this stuff's to work with? So you can also use a sawzall, but a razor blade will give you a nice, pretty straight cut. And you don't want to spend it too much. And there you go, you cut it with a razor blade, or if you have yourself, an extra five or ten dollars, you pick up one of these uh, pipe cutters and then watch this. Shazam! So, what I went ahead and did, we got two of these six foot, six foot, three quarter inch pipe rack. Now, this will give you a little bit of an insulation barrier. And also, you can get the cheapest version. You can also use pool noodles if you want to add some color and flair to your gig. After you get this piece cut to 13 foot 2 inches, you're just going to go ahead and slide on your insulation. And then each one of these were $1.50 and then the pipe was about $10-$15 a pipe. Alright, so next I'm going to show you how we're going to build this base. So this is when I came up with this guy and this is a 5 foot PVC base gate for the PEX gates. It will fit into your car without these tops on. So what you'll need to make this guy is two pieces a five foot inch and a half PVC pipe. You pick up one of these for uh, they're about six dollars each. Next you'll need two inch and a half tees. This is what's gonna hold these top pieces here. And then these are about $1.50 each. And then you're gonna need these guys. Two 90 degree elbows. These in a two pack. They come with the red and the purple all together in one pack. You can buy the smaller containers because you're not gonna need this much glue. So you're gonna want this one is the multi-use cement and it's the all purpose. And it's designed for PVC. CPVC and ABS plastic. So you can use any of those. And then this is the purple primer which heats up. These two work together to form your glue bond. You're also gonna need a five to 16 foot tape measure. And then you're also gonna need a marker, a hacksaw, and yeah, that ought to cover that. So you're just gonna need a couple pieces of pipe. This back piece pipe, you're just going to want to cut this one to 58 inches. Now these side pipes, you can see, 
you're gonna need to cut two pieces of these at 18 inches. And then for your sides, you're gonna wanna cut these guys at 12 inches. Now you can glue these in, or you can leave them out, depending on how you wanna move it. If you're gonna use a car, I suggest you leave these unglued. And you'll be able to get all that, so your back piece will be done with one pipe, and then you'll be able to get your sides in and your tops in with the other piece of pipe. This way. And you can also use the DeWalt 20 volt chop saw. Dude, I love this chop saw. If you don't have one, they're amazing. Now, since this is a cordless chop saw, I find it's really easy to cut pipe with. Now, if you don't have a chop saw, you, you can also just use a hacksaw to cut this stuff. So you just mark it where you're gonna cut it. We got time for that hacksaw. So much easier. And also, we'll start cutting our other piece. Now we'll be able to get our two 18 inches out of this and our two 12 inches. And if you do use a chop saw, make sure you have parental, 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 parental... Supervision? Parental supervision. <laughs> also, don't forget to wear safety glasses and shoes. Now all I have to do is glue it all together. Now, I'll show you guys how this goes together before we glue it. You know, what you're just going to want to do is these two 18 inches are your sides. The one will go here. And one will go there. So you're just going to take your 90s. This gives this back portion to allow the gate to roll over if you hit it over 60 miles an hour. And of course, we're all going above 60. And then this T part is for the floor, for the front of the gate. These 12 inches are going to be your sides. Good idea to get everything together before you do it. So it's a good idea to build this on a table or a flat surface. And what you're going to want to do is eyeball everything. Make sure your top's straight. Make sure both of these are on the ground. Also. Oh yeah. Now these are the pieces. These are optional if you want to glue them. I find it's a little easier for me if I glue these. And give them a little twist and apply light pressure for three to five seconds. Or if you're like, oh, but it doesn't fit in my hole. What I like to do is just take this and then we're going to split out the seam. This way you don't have to use any measuring or anything like that. And you're going to push this the whole way to the bottom. As you see, we're pushed in there. And then you're just gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. Just to make sure this all fits good, I like to have the foam stick past the pipe one inch. Now, as you can see with this PEX pipe, with the inch and a half base that we have here, it does move around a little bit. So to add a little bit of spring to this, you're gonna wanna take any color electrical tape, duct tape of your choice, now what you want to do is squeeze this nice and tight. You want to push it with your finger, kind of squeeze it as you wrap it. Cut it with your razor blade or scissors. And now you can see we have a nice snug fit. So I like to wrap these in duct tape or electrical tape. And then also this will help the foam last longer because if you, once we hit, we started hitting these gates about 10 times a day, it will start to tear the foam apart, so the electrical tape helps keep everything together. Now, you can wrap this whole thing in white, or to give it more of a design, Now all I have to do is repeat the other side. Or if you wanted to do it even crazier, you can add colors. You can add like a little start line to it. You can zip tie this guy to the bottom. Or if you have a metal coat hanger laying around, you can cut it with some wire snips and poke holes straight through the cardboard and it will poke right through the, home, the foam. So this way you know which gate is the starting gate. Just another fun stuff you can do because if you're building your own gate, you like to customize stuff anyway. Yeah. All right. So, we got our PEX gate all done. 
Now you're ready to take this bad boy out to the field and then hit with your quadcopter. Oh yeah, so these are great for learning, so thank you all for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you next time with another how-to video to help make your life a little easier. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time.